In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, we welcome you to Keeping the Faith, Daily Mass for Difficult Times, live streamed at Radio Katipunan 87.9. We are in the Thursday in the fifth week of Lent, but today... The Philippine Church celebrates the memorial, the feast of San Pedro Kalungsod, one of our very own, our Katagilungsod, who was martyred on this day in the year 1672 with the Jesuit priest, Blessed Diego Luis de San Vitores, in the shores of Tumhon, in the islands of Guam. We pray that through the intercession of San Pedro Kalungsod, our nation, our world may be spared from this pandemic. We pray that through his intercession, he who suffered for Christ, he who ultimately offered his life for Christ, may strengthen us through his example to keep on going even amidst difficulties. And so we offer this Holy Eucharist in a special way for this intention. For the end of this pandemic, for the protection of our frontliners and for the consolation of the entire people of God. And so, my dear sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. All-powerful and eternal God, you made San Pedro Calungsod faithful in the preaching of the gospel, even to the point of shedding his blood. By his merit and intercession, grant that we may also be strong in faith to persevere until death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
Our first reading is taken from the book of Genesis. When Abram prostrated himself, God spoke to him, My covenant with you is this, You are to become the father of a host of nations. No longer shall you be called Abram, Your name shall be Abraham, For I am making you the father of a host of nations. I will render you exceedingly fertile. I will make nations of you. Kings shall stem from you. I will maintain my covenant with you and your descendants after you throughout the ages as an everlasting pact to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land in which you are now staying the whole land of Canaan as a permanent possession, and I will be their God. God also said to Abraham, On your part, you and your descendants after you must keep my covenant throughout the ages. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Let our response be, The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Verse before the gospel. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, I solemnly assure you, if a man is true to my word, he shall never see death. Now we are sure you are possessed, the Jews retorted. Abraham is dead. The prophets are dead. Yet you claim a man shall never know death if he keeps my word? Surely you do not pretend to be greater than our father Abraham who died, or the prophets who died. Whom do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, that glory comes to nothing. He who gives me glory is the Father, the very one you claim for your God, even though you do not know him. But I know him. Where were I to say I do not know him, I would be no better than you, a liar. Yes, I know him well, and I keep his word. Your father Abraham rejoiced that he might see my day. He saw it and was glad. At this the Jews objected, You are not yet fifty. How can you have seen Abraham? Jesus answered them, I solemnly declare it before Abraham came to be, I am. At that, they picked up rocks to throw at Jesus, but he hid himself and slipped out of the temple precincts. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, as I mentioned a while ago, today the Philippine Church celebrates the memorial. Ang dakilang kapistahan ni San Pedro Kalungsod, one of our very own, our Katagilungsod. As provided by liturgical norms, 
we may celebrate the Mass of San Pedro Calungsod this day. Hence, we take a short break as it were from the Lenten purple and dawn today the Passion Red, the color of martyrdom, to commemorate San Pedro's ultimate sacrifice, the shedding of his blood after the example of Christ who shed his blood on the cross. My dear sisters and brothers, the liturgical cult of the saints is an ancient cult in the church. As far as documentary evidence is concerned, we have a glimpse of this liturgical cult in the account of martyrdom of St. Polycarp, bishop and martyr. He was martyred in the middle of the second century, and so this document may be dated back to that era as well. The document, the account states that when St. Polycarp ultimately was burned to death, his Christian community gathered his mortal remains, his bones, and laid it into a, in, inside a tomb. And the document continues that every year during the anniversary of his martyrdom, the community gathers around in his tomb to celebrate his life, to pray the Psalms, to read the scriptures, to pray, to offer prayers to God. My dear sisters and brothers, this is what we do today. We honor San Pedro Calungso. But for the longest time, the locus or the focus of an area, as it were, for this liturgical cult of the saints has always been the tomb or the martyrium where the saint, the martyr, is laid to rest. But we all know that on this day in the year 1672, when San Pedro and Blessed Diego Luis offered their lives to God in the shores of Tumjon in the islands of Guam, their mortal remains later were thrown into the midst of the ocean. And so we do not have relics, we do not have the mortal remains of San Pedro Calungsod. And so in that sense, technically, we don't have a locus, a focused area for this cult of San Pedro Calungsod. But as I have proposed in my licentiate thesis, that even if we don't have the mortal remains of San Pedro Calungsod, the locus of his cult is in the center of the gathered community. All of us who gathers to celebrate his life, all of us who gathers to celebrate his martyrdom, all of us who gathers to ask for his intercession and be strengthened by the example of his holy martyrdom. My dear sisters and brothers, on this day we honor San Pedro Calungsod and taking our cue from the liturgical sources as far as the cult of the saints are concerned, we honor the saints because they are our intercessors. We honor them because they are our exemplars on how to live the Christian life. And so as we gather on this feast of San Pedro Calungsod, we pray, we read the sacred scriptures, we break the word of God, and we break bread, and take spiritual communion later, the body, blood, soul, and divinity of our Lord, on this, the memorial of San Pedro Calungsod. In its section on the liturgical year, the Second Vatican Council's Constitution on the Sacred Liturgy, Sacrosanctum Concilium, paragraph 104, beautifully explains to us the position of the saints in the liturgical year. We honor these saints, holy men and women, the martyrs, because we, we honor them because in their earthly life they shared in the passion of Jesus. And now they share in his glory in heaven. But more beautifully, the document Sacrosanctum Concilium continues that the church honors the saints and she proposes the saints to us as our exemplars, our models on how to approach 
the Father on how to live good Christian lives. And so as we honor San Pedro today, we break the word of God, we break the bread of the Eucharist. And it's beautiful that the readings of today, the Thursday of the fifth week of Lent, speaks about the figure of Abraham. Abraham as the father of our faith. Abraham as the person to whom the promise has been made to. God, in the first reading, the book of Genesis, told Abraham that he will give him a promise. I am making you a father of a host of nations. I will render you exceedingly fertile. I will make nations of you. Kings shall stem from you. And we know, as in the Gospel reading, the Gospel of St. John, this promise posed to Abraham has been fulfilled, has been manifested in its entirety in the person, in the life, in the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, there is one detail that the book of Genesis gives us, a very interesting one, and I think a central one. Before God made a covenant, before God made the promise to Abraham, he first changed his identity. The book of Genesis states, No longer shall you be called Abram. Your name shall be Abraham. If we look at it, when God made the promise to Abraham, he made a promise to a new person, a new identity. And a new, a new person, a new name, a new identity, espouse a new state. Status. My dear sisters and brothers, in this season of Lent, we who are baptized are being invited to recall our own baptisms. The sacrament that initiated us into the faith, the sacrament that made us members of the body of Christ, but a sacrament that totally changed our lives. For before baptism, we were nobody, but after baptism, we are made sons and daughters of God. In baptism, we have been immersed in the very life of God. In baptism, we have become participants in the divine life of God. And so, in this season of Lent, we are reminded of that new identity. We are no ordinary beings. We are sons and daughters of God of God. That's a lofty status, but a tall order at the same time. We pray that through the example of San Pedro Calungsod, through his intercession, he who suffered tremendously, yet suffered so willingly, shed his blood so freely in witness to the gospel for love of Jesus Christ. May we like him live our lives in that fashion, that our daily lives may be a witnessing to this Jesus Christ who ultimately offered his life for the salvation of all. And so as we honor San Pedro today, we ask him, San Pedro Kalungsod, our katagilungsod, our fellow man, we pray that you whisper to the ears of our Lord Jesus, the sufferings of his people these very moments because of this pandemic. We beseech you to whisper to the ears of our Lord our pleas, our cries for help that he may save us from this deadly epidemic. We pray that through your intercession, that through your example, we may keep the faith even in the midst of of the most difficult of times. San Pedro Kalungsod, among katagilungsod, igampo mo kami, ipanalangin mo kami, ora pro nobis. Amen.
my dear sisters and brothers, let us present our petitions to Jesus Christ, who guides us in our journey of faith to the Father. And we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That God's kingdom may exist with the hearts of those who recognize Jesus' presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That through Jesus we may receive the strength to journey in faith as Abraham did. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our faith may be clearly evident through Jesus' action in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and those who are in trouble may acknowledge Christ's presence who accompanies them in their journey. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may reach their eternal home. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We include in our prayers all the intentions you have sent to our Facebook pages, Jescom and Radio Katipunan. For all these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In a special way, we pray for our friends or relatives who have recently passed away. We pray for Mr. Benitan, a longtime friend of the Jesuits in the Philippines. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. O Lord, grant our petitions and sustain our faith as we journey through life, that our reunion with you may be joyful. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offerings we bring in commemoration of Blessed Pedro Kalungsod be acceptable to you, we pray, O Lord, so that they may be pleasing to your majesty just as the shedding of this martyr's blood was precious in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, San Pedro Calungsod, poured out like Christ to glorify your name shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Onesto our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with San Pedro Calungsod, Beato Diego Luis de San Vitores, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Per ipsum et cum ipso et in ipso, est tibi Deo Patri Omnipotenti, in unitate Spiritu Sancti, omnis honor et gloria, Per omnia in saecula saeculorum. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as he is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, the one who was broken so that we may be made whole. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr San Pedro Calungsod faithful in your service and victorious in suffering. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oracio Imperata against COVID-19. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from all our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. San Rafael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. And so, my dear sisters and brothers, we end our celebration with a final blessing. There's a Jesuit priest who told us in the novitiate, Our God meets us where we are. In this moment of the pandemic, we are in the midst wherein we are deprived of receiving the sacraments. But God meets us where we are, in the desires, in our longings for Him, in our pining for our God, as He told the prophets, He will allow us to find Him. And so deep in your hearts, express this longing for God. And as we impart the final blessing of this liturgy through the intercession of San Pedro Calungsod, may God heal us, may God answer us, may God satiate us with His presence as our longings so express. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Be gracious to your people, Lord, we pray, that as from day to day they reject what does not please you, they may be filled instead with delight at your commands. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Our Eucharist has been celebrated. Go forth in the peace of Christ, glorifying Him in your life. Thanks be to God.